So go ahead. in this example, again, it can be someone over the age of 59 and a half, but we literally see this happen a lot. Soon as somebody turns 59 and a half, this is a government rule, and generally it's in the plan document that governs your 401k plan, people will call us and they'll say, hey, Tony, I heard you talk about this, and or maybe I met with you three or four years ago. I'm now 59 and a half. You said to come back and see you. I'm 59 and a half. Can we go ahead and roll over this 401k plan? Well, the first thing we do, and our own Lisa Potter in our Bowling Green office is in charge of this, does a wonderful job. The first step is called an eligibility, there we go, a call, went blank there, an eligibility call. So during this eligibility call, Lisa Potter will contact your custodian, let's say it's Mutual Nairobi, and they'll get you on the line with the custodian because the custodian obviously is not going to share information with us without you being on the line with your permission. So during that eligibility call, what we're trying to determine, the amount that can be rolled over. Now I say can because sometimes, depending on the plan document, believe it or not, they won't let you roll it over. This happens sometimes, but sometimes when they, or a lot, oftentimes when they say, oh yeah, it can be rolled over, then you have to determine, again, how much. Again, some plan documents, depending on what the employer contributed, whether it's a profit sharing, whether it's a match, there's a lot of different nuances of this. Sometimes they might say, let's say it's a half million dollar 401k. They might say, well, you're actually eligible. Again, this is just an example to roll over $400,000. So your first question ought to be, oh, okay, that's cool. But are there going to be taxes if I take it from that thing? over to you guys, Tony Walker, and let you all manage it. That's the beauty. If it's done properly, the law allows us to roll over once per year a 401k in to an individual retirement account, which is what we would manage. Let's put this up full screen, Aaron. We call this the split IRA concept. Now, here's how this works. The money first would go to Charles Schwab, okay? So in most cases, sometimes we'll go directly to an annuity company, but in most cases, that full 400000 in this example that they're eligible to roll over will go without taxes and go to Charles Schwab, and it's set up in an IRA. In fact, it'll say Charles Schwab IRA, FBO means for the benefit of, let's say, John Doe IRA. So there's no taxes, there's no fees, there's no upfront costs. What we will do with Schwab then is go back to our split IRA and determine with your approval if and how much you want to split off or transfer, again, no cost to do this, uh, no taxes to do this, but to transfer some of that money into what we call a fixed annuity. And, and if you want to, we could even select an annuity that provides some of that beloved mailbox money. So then what happens? We say, well, Tony, then what do we do? Well, at the next step then, we begin to monitor your progress. And this is where a lot of advisors fall off the table because once they get your money, what I found is a lot of them don't do much to continue to earn your trust, especially if you've taken all your money and made the mistake of just putting 100% of it in an annuity. You all will come to me in many cases after purchasing an annuity and you'll say, well, Tony, I bought this annuity four or five. I had one yesterday, bought this annuity 10 years ago. Never heard from the advisor after we bought the annuity. Why is that? Well, I have to remind you that that advisor made a huge commission on the annuity. The annuities don't pay any fees or recurring fees to the advisor, so more than likely, unless the person wanted to just make sure to stay in touch with you, there was no incentive for them to stay in touch, and thus you're left alone to go it alone with this annuity that you probably don't even understand. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips, and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.